Hello, everyone, and welcome to that Eurovision site, Eurovision with a slice of life. We are in the midst of national final season, and we are continuing our interview series with artists competing from across Europe. Today, I am so happy to be joined by Mila from Serbia, who will be Hello. competing in Peze with her song Persepsia. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing today, Mila? I'm going great. Super nice. A lot of people who are watching Peza Day for the first time uh, will be just discovering your music and you as an artist. Can you tell us a little about yourself? Yes. So I'm an, you can say, up and coming artist from Belgrade, Serbia. Um, I am going to be one of the contestants for Pesma Zavrovizio. Uh, and uh, I'm representing my song Percepcia this year. Uh, basically, I started making music uh, in 2020 during current quarantine um and that's how i discovered that i can uh write music and write songs i never really knew that so basically this this is gonna be uh, like a new experience for me to show showcase my work and uh, my music hmm. were you doing music before were you like a musician before and then started writing or did you just come straight into music uh, well, not really. I, when I was a kid, I used to go to like uh, music school, you know, like for violin and stuff, but like, not really. I just sang in school and uh, stuff like that. But like, I, I, my major is I'm an architect in general. So I finished architecture and uh, I'm, I did never really kind of, it just happened all of a sudden, you know? So also this song that is now going to be in Pesma Zerovizio was written four years ago during that period when I had like burst of inspiration and I like wrote 15 songs uh, from which I published now five of them, including Percepcia. So all the songs that you've released over the last four years have been from that initial? Yes, yes. So I'm still, I'm, I'm still... Um, I'm planning to publish also others and I'm writing constantly music, new music, but like, uh, yeah, I'm kind of, I, I want to be first like publishing those ones that are, that I wrote. And I think they're good from the beginning. And then I'm going to see how things evolve. Mm. And so what would you say your style is like what you've written all these songs in one go, mm. what kind of space were you in when you wrote all this music? Um, I was at my home. <laughs> that was, yeah. Um, I don't know if I have a particular like style. Uh, I feel like, um, of course it's like more, more or less pop music, but, um, I think, uh, now I'm still figuring it out because, uh, I personally listen to many different genres of music and, uh, I'm inspired by many different artists. So, uh, I feel like it just, uh, I'm just going with the flow and deciding uh, it, when inspiration comes I just uh, produce what 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 arrives you know so I'm kind of figuring out what if there is going to be like a specific uh, let's say um, genre vibe that I'm going to go for but like I just feel like it should be naturally and uh, you just have to create mm. and would you say you're more influenced by Serbian artists or artists from outside of Serbia uh, I'm well. Uh, I feel like maybe more international artists, but also Serbian artists and Balkan, not just Serbian. I feel like uh, Balkan music, uh, yeah, as well. So, but not necessarily either one or either. It depends. I feel like uh, because I personally really do listen to many different genres, and I love to discover new art artists. And uh, I don't know. I like to also go. That's why it's cool to have all these platforms like Spotify, Deezer. You can go like to listen to Brazilian artists or like, you know, Indian or like, you know, Italian I love. So, so yeah. So I feel like it depends. Uh, anyone can uh, inspire me. And so who specifically inspired you when you were writing uh, Percepcia? But to be honest, so Percepcia is, I've written it when I was in lockdown and uh, I wasn't feeling very 
all of us were very like in this period of where it was super confusing we were all you know a bit not it was a weird time so basically uh, I wanted to write like a feel good song that is going to help me uh, even though my world was not perfect and like uh, I wasn't feeling the great I wanted to kind of try to encourage myself to feel um, better and um, and actually uh, I was listening because it was 2020 I was listening I remember it was on the radio you know the song feeling good like I should when in Toko walk around the neighborhood feeling blessed never stressed that there's sunshine on my Sunday best. Uh, so I loved I was like yeah this is such a good vibe I'm, I'm feeling yeah feeling good like I should so I was like why don't I write a song even though I'm not feeling good like I should but like write a song in Serbian that's gonna be like yeah let's go you can you can do it you know yeah and and how do you think that writing in Serbian is sort of different to writing in English or mm. yeah well kind of it came for of course my my mother tongue is Serbian so uh naturally it, it came in, in Serbian but now I'm also writing things in English a bit and I have some songs in English I also in Petsepsia added like yeah. a bit of English at the end kind of because I wanted to sum up um, so also you know, you know more people can understand kind of the essence of the song uh, so I don't know I feel like it depends also what language you speak what rhymes you know it's different kind of uh, because I also write melodies and texts so it's different kind of it's kind of how you think about and how you write it's kind of different uh, than in every language I feel like mm. and you, so you sort of mentioned that you're inspired by Balkan music more generally what is mm -hmm. it for you what is it that makes Balkan music special or different well uh well I grew up on Balkan music so but not just Balkan music of course also yeah um, but Balkan music, it depends. Uh, I think it's diverse. Um, I think Balkan music when I was a kid and Balkan music now, are it's evolving as well. Um, uh, so it's a kind of like a broad, uh, let's say, uh, space because you have like Balkan music that you listen to when you go out in like kafana, which are restaurants where you like listen to old music that kind of, go through your you know for your soul and then you have Balkan music that is like now uh, folk turbo folk music or um, pop music so I feel like uh, Balkan music uh, is now you have rap trap as well so basically um, it, it, it's it varies but uh, of course that sound is because I'm Serbian and I'm from this region it's uh, a big influence on me and my my creation creating mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, because I mean, in Eurovision, Balkan countries, Croatia, mm -hmm. Slovenia, Serbia, they always send quite diverse things, but always very true to the the culture and the language and and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Did you grow up with Eurovision? Uh, yes. So basically, one of my first um, memories for from Eurovision were like uh, Jeko Joksimovic with Lane Moy and. Uh, Ruslana, I remember we were in school, like all dancing and stuff like that. So I feel like in Serbia we really follow Eurovision and everything, and um, and then also you know I, I follow Eurovision and Serbian before it was called Bell Song. So so I'm and also in these recent years I've been following as well, and I'm I'm constantly also last last no two years ago when it was in Italy I was also in Italy. And I actually went to Torino uh, the day when it was the finals. I couldn't get the ticket to enter, but I wanted, to, I just wanted to feel. So we were like there, there was like parties uh, and it was spectacular. So yeah, I really love Eurovision. I'm like such a, such a fan and I follow it. So it's it, I, like to go one day, maybe to Eurovision, it would be like, wow, it would be like so cool. Uh, and to represent your country, it's crazy. I really love Eurovision. I love the concept of uh, like, people that uh, Europe get uniting and like uh, competing but not competing in a sense we're all in this together like show, sh showcasing our countries and our our uh, music it's beautiful for me to be honest so, so what actually inspired you to do Pesere? Mm -hmm. well um, basically what happened was um, I um, I had I was working on Percepcia this summer last summer actually so I was planning on publishing it f 
for the summer and that period. And in, in the end, it didn't happen. So um, I decided that I want to, like, actually, the last day I applied for Pesmas Eurovisio, and I was like, okay, this is something, if I, you know, I wanted to go out of my comfort zone because I really never sang in front of, you know, one million people or something are going to watch us, uh, uh, you know, perform. So I was like, okay, why not try something new and, uh, you know, uh, get out of my comfort zone, I have to say. So I decided that I'm going to apply. I, I also filmed it on for like TikTok and Instagram. I was like, okay, let's do it. I, but I, I really didn't think that I will maybe be one of the 28 uh, participants. So it was crazy when, uh, when I saw the list. We actually saw the list on Instagram when everyone else saw it. I didn't, they, they didn't send us like emails or they didn't call us. So it was just like a surreal moment. I was home alone. I was like, is this real? Like people were, yeah, it was so crazy. It was so crazy. So I'm super excited that I'm going to be uh, this year's contestant. And I feel like this year we have so many creative and wonderful and singers and songs. It's going to be such a good show. Yeah. Yeah, because it's kind of almost a, a celebration. Like all these national finals are basically celebrations of the country's music, as much as they are competitions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what what other kind of what other songs are you liking from this year's selection? Oh my god, it's so difficult to say. Like uh, because yeah, they're so diverse, and I love how we have different vibes. Um, but let's say I don't know. Like I like. I like, for example, Marco Mandic, he's uh, before me. So I like, like, before I come up to stage now, when we're doing the rehearsals, I was like, yeah, I love his song. Uh, and I like uh, Filip Balos. Mm. Uh, I love him. Like last year, he was one of my you know, favorite uh, for, for, because he was uh, competing also last year with uh, Duga and Not. No, this is year. This year is Duga and Not. I love his song Duga and Not. I don't know. Like I like um, Zayna as well. She she's in my head. Zayna and I. I don't know. Like I, it depends. Like who uh, who else? Deadora is super cool. Um, Eva Lawrence. I love Eva Lawrence. Um, I uh, yeah. I don't know who else. Let me see. Uh, Christina has a nice ballad. Um, Chai has a beautiful uh, voice. Uh, Brescita has uh, ethno vibe. It's so cool. Uh, I don't know, like, uh, who am I? But like, I, I, I'm really listening to uh, Zoria has like the song. Like, she, she's gonna sing it. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. First, yeah. So I, I don't know. I'm like now going through some of them, but like, uh, yeah, I feel like. Everyone is bringing their truest self, and I feel like it's gonna be. And I love that um, all of us are very here for each other. Like we don't. I don't feel. I feel like we're all kind of going through this process together. And there's no, um, you know, competition in that sense. Everyone is like uh, very friendly and uh, open to you know helping each other out. So that's um, super wonderful. I have to say for Pose this year. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, there are lots mm -hmm. of quite like experienced artists there. Have you been get, and you're quite young mm -hmm. in your career, have they been mm -hmm. giving you advice? Uh, well, uh, kind of like Constracta as well. Uh, we've been a bit tech. I don't, I never really met her, but we were texting because she also finished, she's architect and I was an, I'm an architect. So, so we were like, Hey, yeah. So Constracta and, um, uh, who else like um, Angelina she was last year uh, she also I texted her and we she helped me with some uh, some things so yeah so we're here for each other yeah yeah, so. yeah it must be a great thing for you as well because you started obviously doing music during COVID mm -hmm. so you don't necessarily have that experience of doing big shows of like playing live a lot because you just couldn't for <laughs> two years yeah yeah, yeah, that's true. So basically, this is going to be one of my first uh, shows, which is amazing. But yeah, I didn't have the opportunity to kind of show everyone what I, you know, what I got. <laughs> so I, I'm super grateful that I'm going to be this year's uh, contestant. Yeah, and you will be competing on Tuesday the 27th uh, 
you're performing very early on, so you'll be one of the first artists that people see. Yeah, I'm the I'm the, I'm the second, so basically kind of opening after Marco and me. So yeah, I'm gonna be like here in the from the beginning. Yeah, awesome. And after this, obviously, if you go to Eurovision, fantastic. Uh, oh. But you know, what else have you got planned? You said you're writing more songs. Yeah, uh, well, I, to be honest, now I'm really focusing on on this and uh, doing the best that we can. I have a an amazing team now that I kind of, I had some of the people, but now I kind of made my team uh, as it as it went, because I'm, as, it, as you know, as I said, very new uh, in, in, in all of this. Uh, so I don't know, my plans now are, uh, focusing on of on making the best performance that we can do uh have i'm having such a good time and i feel like my team is super creative and we're really doing this together which is beautiful to to see like we're all in this 100 percent uh and then we'll see how it goes i've heard that we if i don't go like to represent serbia <laughs> there are like also biggies um uh, pre-parties that I heard that you can maybe do so I would I would love to do that I don't know how that goes but I will look it I will look it up I don't know but that would be amazing if I just go you know that would be super nice as well so we'll see and of course I'm going to publish uh, I'm working on my music and I'm going to publish more songs so yeah those are the plans for now and what can you tell us about how I mean how you can appear on stage about the staging about the look mm. So, well, um, the stage, actually, they showcase the sh how the stage looks. So it's super huge. Like, it's enormous. Like, it's beautiful, th this, year, this year's stage. Um, and uh, <clears throat> I can say that I'm not going to be alone on the stage because, uh, yeah, I'm not going to say anything else. But, like, it's going to be very interesting, I that's 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 the only thing that kind of I can say I don't know but like yeah I'm not gonna be alone and it's gonna be fun yeah have you enjoyed the process of like building a staging and building a concept and uh you know everything like that well yeah because actually kind of um I I, I do enjoy it I love making concepts and everything because as I as I said I I did finish architecture so I did that for some kind of different form, you know, making the concept and then like, I don't know, a building or whatever. Um, but uh, <laughs> so now it's just music and concept and performance. And I'm, I'm learning a lot. I never really, yeah, like how television works, how live performances work. Um, so I am enjoying it. I have to say it's uh, a bit, I want to say maybe a bit challenging in a way because you don't really know what you are um, up for because you have different things to think about, but it's like a creative chaos, I can say. Like, it's kind of like, you know, we're enjoying it. We're maybe it's a bit chaotic, but it's it's going to be nice in the end. So I am enjoying every every second of it, to be honest. Yeah, it's super cool. That's great. And for people yeah. who are just discovering you, what other stuff or other songs should they check out next? After Perceptia. Uh -huh. Well, they should uh, for sure look all of them up <laughs> and then see what they, which one they like. I also, um, you can go to my you know, YouTube channel, subscribe and see my music videos. I'm very proud of my music videos because, for example, for my Istra uh, Kivanya, one of my songs, which means uh, like how do I say when you're waiting for something like oh my god how do you say it in expectation English? Expect expecting something um I did that music video by myself I edited I did the color grading I filmed it in Stockholm which is super cool mm -hmm. because my sister uh lives in Stockholm uh so we uh I was there actually yeah during New Year's Eve and uh I filmed and edited the music video in her house actually so that that one is Shakivani is super interesting and and yeah I'm super proud of it. Then uh, Imam Te it's my first sing single and uh, we did an amazing music video with the crew and everyone. Also Petak Vetche is uh, another song that I made with one of, uh, with Lazar my colleagues that I also make songs with. 
uh, we did it in my house at my house. Like I, I put a, like a wig and we filmed, my friends came over and uh, we had a fun time. And uh, so we filmed that one as well together. So yeah, they should check it out and see which one they like, because also they're different vibes, you know, one or some songs are more like, you know, for dancing and going out. And then some of them are more like, you know, at, the atmosphere is more important in some of them. So yeah. That's cool. I mean, you've got uh, mm. your sister helping you with your music video. You have, I saw on Instagram, your uncle doing backing vocals for... Uh, that's my dad. Your dad. Sorry, I missed Yeah, no, 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 it's your fine. Dad, your dad. Yeah, yeah. Anything. Yeah, my, my, my dad, uh, yeah, my dad did the, the backup vocals for this song. And he was so excited. He was like, yeah, I'm going to do it because we, want, we needed like the that say it to you, the, the, the tone uh but yeah my family is very like we all are very you know singing all the time and my other sister uh because there's two of them <laughs> i'm the youngest uh she she also did back vocals for peta kvetsch uh for one, one one of my other songs uh so yeah so we're all kind of you know creative and and the uh, older sister is helping me like with our directory she's a director um so she's helping me a lot in this process as well so yeah we're all in this kind of my uh, my family is very supportive so yeah that's so cool um mm. and where can people find you online if they want to find so you? you you can find me on instagram which is like my handle m dot ira like mira um that's why i actually decided that, the, that my artist name should be m dot ira because um Mira was taking there's like a Romanian singer uh, in uh, uh already named Mira so I decided yeah I'm not Ira and uh, I have a TikTok as well but it's in Serbian more or less but you can still sometimes I make jokes uh, so it's cool and sing uh and yeah on my YouTube channel as well I'm not Ira awesome uh we at the Eurovision site are also on all the platforms Blue Sky Twitter Facebook YouTube Mm -hmm. subscribe on youtube follow us on spotify follow mira subscribe to her on spotify follow her on spotify do what you know you do and thank you for joining us today and thank you so much mira it's been a pleasure talking to you uh, thank you so much for your time and it's been a pleasure for me as well thank you